the basic idea when we started this was that, that, um, that we had textbooks that didn't match the students in our classrooms. And so what we really wanted to do was to have teachers create curriculum that would be high interest, that would meet the standards, and um, that would have literacy embedded in them in high interest social justice units. And so um, over the, we've been doing this for I guess about 15 years in the Portland area, with, with um, mostly with middle school and high school, but also some with elementary school. And um, so just some of the kinds of units, generally people work together in small groups. And um, what we do in the morning is I do a, a workshop that um, takes people through um, a unit over a, over a few days, in this case, two days. And so if you think about developing a unit, we think about what is the way into the unit? How are we getting students excited about the unit? Um, so what are those opening acts, we call them, that, we want, um, that will entice students to want to know more? So often that will be a tea party or a role play um, maybe photographs, something that gets kids kind of excited about learning the unit. And then we go into the main stage, we call it, where students are collecting information about the topic. And that might uh, be from readings, it might be from um, interviews, it might be from um, videos. So different kinds of ways that we would collect the information. And then the the closing act is, well, what's the project that the students are going to um, complete in order to demonstrate their understanding? And generally, for us, that's some kind of writing. Um, it might be an essay, it might be a narrative, it might be a book, I mean, you know, a short book. Um, so it might be some kind of project that students put together. And so that's the big idea. So oh, two days, in this case, I'll demonstrate some of those kinds of activities. I will bring materials that show ways that other teachers have gotten to this. Um, and then in the afternoon, so I'll do that in the morning for usually two to three hours. And then in the afternoon, you will work on your own. So that's why, or with your small group, hopefully there will be enough people so that you can work together. So that's why it's really important, especially because we only have two days together, to gather that, to make a decision today about what you're going to work on, and to gather all the materials that you will need to bring for that. And you know, sometimes you might access internet materials, but sometimes you actually need the books or magazines, or um, in order to do that second day, that second part of collecting the information that students are going to be reading um, or watching. So, so just to give you a sense of some of the units that people have put together, that um, some, um, for example, students did, uh, students, teachers did a unit on The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. So they looked at, um, and that, that's kind of a middle school through high school book, but they looked at, um, besides just looking at the, at the, um, novel itself, they also look at what, what's life like on a reservation, um, did a kind of background needs so that there was this whole unit put together to serve on that book so that teachers could teach it more effectively. Another one um, that teachers put together this summer was um, toxins in everyday life. So they looked at the kinds of toxins in um, lipstick and, um, and house cleaning products and all kinds of things as a way of getting kids to understand. So they created a tea part be a role play and then had students do some investigative work. Another one was on tsunamis. So after the, the Japanese tsunami, um, teachers put together a unit, science teachers, on looking at how um, safe are um, the, the, the nuclear power plants are in um, Japan and the United States. So they chose eight, eight different um, eight different nuclear reactors and they have students investigating those and they're actually the students are actually sending testimony to Congress about which one 
to 50 close based on the evidence of um, what makes a safe nuclear power plant. Um, just some other ones are like um, August Wilson's plays, um, the book Henry Anna Lacks, which uh, was about um, the immortal cells of Henry Anna Lacks. Um, there was a unit on genocide looking at um, some of the shorter books like Sold and Iqbal. Um, not Iqbal. There was, um, sorry, I'm getting them mixed up. That was on child slavery. Right. Uh, there's another unit on, on genocide um, that had students looking, reading several books um, on media, on U.S. imperialism. And I'm just now working with social studies teachers who are putting one together on uh, voter suppression um, coming up on the election. So, you know, it's, I mean, sometimes it can't, what I want to say is in two days we're not, not going to be able to get huge, you know, units done, but you might want to think about what is, what are some of the, what's something that's a compelling curriculum that you have coming up that you want to write a curriculum around. So um, I just throw those out as possibilities. <coughs> Sometimes people come in and they end up meeting somebody in the curriculum camp and starting something that they hadn't even anticipated um, that they were going to do because they ended up doing some cross-curricular work. So one of those was a study of rats, um, which ended up being a really cool thing. There's a great book called Rats by this man named Sullivan, and it's about the history of rat catching and all about rats. Anyway, who knew that they were so fascinating? Um, so those are some kind of the, the big ideas. So um, so first of all, are there questions about that? I will do some model units, I will say that, that are helpful to look at. How long are these units? Do they vary from like a couple days to a couple weeks in terms of implementation in the classroom? Absolutely. Most of them are at least a couple of weeks. Um, we will have a shorter amount of time, but you can start working on it and then think about the things, plan for the kinds of things that you'll add. For example, um, it's not unreasonable to think about a unit on um, a book or on a topic, and what you might do is write the tea party for the unit. So for example, with the voter suppression laws, what they did was they wrote um, Tea Party rules for Fannie Lou Hamer, and um, so going back for Bob Moses. For so going back and then um, and then looking at contemporary issues. So with contemporary pieces as well, because Tea Parties take a long time to write. So it sets you up for your unit, and then they wrote criteria sheets for the end. So I would say you can set up for a shorter or longer. Some of these are very long. 